Hey, hey, monkeys, how are you doing? Damien Keys here. Choices, choices as creatives pose us a massive problem because we find it very hard to commit to one thing or two things. And social media is a classic example of that. Now, come with me on an imaginary journey. Imagine if in the world that we lived in, there wasn't loads and loads and loads of social media platforms. There was just one. And let's for example, let's say that social media platform was Instagram. There was no Facebook, there was no Snapchat, there was no LinkedIn, literally none of that was a thing. And somebody invented Instagram. Now, 20 years ago, there was no social media. And if you'd said to someone 20 years ago, there's gonna be a time in a few years time where in your pocket, there will be a phone. And on your phone, you'll be able to take pictures and take videos and send it to people that you've never met before people would be like, wow, the future. Now, in our imaginary world, we've just got Instagram. Now, it makes things incredibly simple because we know we've got our band or in a business, we've got our product and then we are gonna market it. So on Instagram, every decision that we make, we are doing so thinking about Instagram in mind because what a great way of connecting with our audience. Every decision that we make, the type of content that we make, the way that we engage, every time we meet people, we're pushing them towards that one platform because that's all that's there. There's no choices. All of a sudden, it becomes easier to herd your audience, to engage and build relationships, big relationships with your audience, and things are just so simple. However, fast forward to the real world, and there are. There are millions of social media platforms, but as musicians, we're not designing our life around what platforms we want to be on. We're designing our lives around what platforms that are there and, and we're scared of not being on all of them. But that's a weird thing to do. You're be judging what, not what you want, but what you don't want. And people do that with social media all the time. Not what they want, but what they don't want. So they don't want not to be on Twitter because what happens if that's where their break's gonna come from? We can't not be on Instagram. So all of a sudden, musicians and bands have social media platforms coming out their ass all over the place and they're not able to look after their audience. They're not able to make enough content. They're not able to make the right content content which is which is thinking about the consumer and how they're consuming that content and therefore they're not building an audience they're just putting stuff out willy-nilly randomly on loads and loads of different social media platforms now if you could just take a punt on one or maybe two social media platforms and just sack off the rest of them, I think you'd have a much, much easier ride. You could concentrate and prioritize on the most important things. And the most important things is making something, content, music, and actually getting that to your audience and actually you know, allowing them to engage with your story and to buy into you and buy your music. Now, it just makes it so simple. So. We are living in a time now where so much choice is a problem because you are not becoming the expert in a social media platform and an expert in your audience and how you fit them together. You're trying to be an expert on five, six, seven, eight platforms and how your audiences, not audience, but your audiences are going to consume you and how you're gonna try and get them to do something. So all of a sudden, it's not a full-time job anymore, it's five full-time jobs. And you've forgotten about the thing which was you need to make music, you need to create, you need to do the thing that you do and social media being this vehicle for how you're actually gonna get your music to people, all of a sudden you're trying to be five different social media experts in one and you've probably got a full-time job or you're at college and you're trying to be in a band and you're trying to make the music, it's too much. So we need to stop, we need to stop this idea of, of being scared to be on a platform and what we need to do is we need to look at something very, very simple. How are we gonna build the one platform that's gonna, that's gonna engage with our audience and all the other platforms that we're using are either gonna go or they're gonna be turned into filtering systems into the main platform. So for example, you're a YouTube star now, for example, and everything that you do, when you meet someone, you go, you need, you need to add me on YouTube, not social media, YouTube. And when you're putting stuff out on Facebook statuses, everything is pointing towards YouTube. When you put a video on Facebook, you're pointing it towards YouTube. When you do Snapchat, you're saying, come and join me on YouTube because I'm a YouTube star. All of a sudden, you're filtering it into something. That then is using the rest of the social media to drive you to the one thing that you are. I just feel like at the moment, too many musicians are having to be 
an entire social media company and that isn't even what you want to do full time. So I want you to simplify it. I want you to look through your social media and figure out what you can concentrate on and become the expert in one or maybe two of those things to, to do what's the most important thing, which is to look after your audience, to engage your audience and to allow your audience to engage with you so that you can build this story, build this relationship and eventually monetize it in the way of selling records or getting people to gigs, etc. Because at the moment we are definitely putting too much emphasis onto too many things and it, it's just confusing the messages that I'm seeing that bands and musicians are putting out there. So have a think about your social media, have a think about what you can do to simplify it and what message, not messages across everything, what message you are trying to get out on a daily basis and what you want your audience to do, one thing. Have a think about it and I'll see you tomorrow.